Report. Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder welcomes more than 1,800 Fort Meade soldiers, civilians, and guests Wednesday morning to the annual Run for Wellness and Remembrance. Hi, I'm Brian Spann, and welcome to Meade Week. More on the run in just a moment. We also have some road closures to report. The Wellness Center is set for a grand opening and much more. But first, Fort Meade observed the 12th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks with the annual Run for Wellness and Remembrance on Wednesday morning. Garrison Commander Brian Foley welcomed more than 1,800 service members, civilians, and guests to this year's event. So we stand here this morning, shoulder to shoulder, standing next to each other, ready to support each other in our times of need, ready and resilient in the face of adversity, ready to care for each other when needed. After the run, Colonel Foley called on everyone to do more to take care of one another. Caring means thinking about yourself. Caring means reaching out to your friend, to your battle buddy, in their time of need. Caring means helping your battle buddies and your friends. Caring can mean getting them help when they are unwilling or unable to get it for themselves. The Colonel added that caring also means not tolerating any form of harassment. Caring means being vigilant and observing and ensuring that if you see harassment of any kind or any form in your workplace or in your neighborhood or in your lives anywhere that you are telling someone or saying something about it you are not letting harassment of any form or any type go by unnoticed in a related story the garrison is holding a ribbon cutting ceremony on monday september 16th for the new army wellness center maryland senators barbara mikulski and ben cardner are expected to attend the Fort Meade Army Wellness and Resiliency Center will serve as the community hub for the promotion of healthy lifestyles and primary prevention programs and services. Monday's ribbon cutting takes place at 10 o'clock at 4418 Llewellyn Avenue. In more health and wellness news, the recently completed VA Medical Center here on Fort Meade is holding an open house on Saturday, September 14th. The Fort Meade VA Clinic serves more than 80,000 veterans in Howard and Anne Arundel counties. Previously, local veterans were forced to drive to D.C., Martinsburg, or Baltimore for care. Being located right here, they won't have to cut down the distance or come right into Baltimore. So coming into Baltimore, they had to deal with the traffic and the parking and the large population. So this is more accessible for them, cuts down on their travel. Ms. Alexander also encourages anyone that isn't receiving VA health care, and if they think they're eligible, they should stop by. Once they come in with their DD-214, a valid photo ID, and information about their financial status, we will be able to check and make sure if they're eligible for care by checking those records. The Fort Meade Clinic offers state-of-the-art equipment, including heated examination tables, an audiology booth, and a telehealth system. Telehealth services are actually services that they use um, sort of like a video, a, mon a prompt, to where someone can be off-site and actually talk to the primary care provider, mental health provider, dermatology, um, optometry, where they can actually talk to somebody that's not physically on-site, but that's located at our, our main facility at the BAMEX. For more information about the Fort Meade Clinic or the Maryland VA system, go to www.maryland.va.gov. Hardly a week goes by without some construction news to report. Contractors will be replacing sewer lines along Leonard Wood Avenue starting next week. Some road closures are involved. Between September 16th and 18th, a small section of Curtis Road will be closed. It's located between Nathan Hale Hall and Afy's Garage. Bundy Street between Leonard Wood and Griffin Avenues will be closed from September 18th through October 4th. Bundy Street is located near the Fort Meade Museum. Additionally, Mapes Road is expected to see some closure on the weekend of October 19th and 20th. Stay tuned for details on that one. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.